coolest thing about Pit Viper is everyone there is an insanely cool person and an insanely cool shredder. They love to ski, they love to ride. What's going on you guys? Mo Awesome here. I know this looks a little bit ridiculous, uh, but I figured do a Pit Viper collection video just because Definitely accumulated a ton of Pit Vipers between me and my girlfriend, Hannah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we do work with Pit Viper closely. I've never really been a collector, but for whatever reason, I feel like my collecting enthusiasm has started with Pit Viper and I've accumulated a ton. Hoarding. And Hannah's, yeah, a little bit on the hoarding side. Hannah also <laughs> has accumulated a ton and together our collection is pretty insane. So figured we'd do a Pit Viper collection video. Also would like to do a little bit on the review side as well. I'll talk about the differences between the 2000s and the uh, originals, double wide or not double wide, and also the exciters, which I'm wearing right now. I'm also wearing their new tech hoodie, which man, I really enjoy. It's a cool color too. And overall, Pit Viper is just a really cool company. I will also say we do have a discount code for you guys. I'll put a link in the description of the video and the comments. Basically at checkout, if you go through our link, you'll save 15% off your order, your entire order. And it also helps support the channel. So a uh, huge thank you to you guys. But yeah, figure this is long overdue. Uh, I did a count and together we own uh, 52 pairs of Pit Vipers. And that's after giving some away. Anytime we like run into someone super cool, uh, we gave one to Randy, this really cool artist in, uh, I believe, Pittsburgh. 52 sets, a lot of 2000s, a lot of double wide originals. Uh, they're, the, they're the more affordable one. And then some exciters as well. They, Hannah prefers the exciters. I kind of dig them. I actually love the 2000s. And we'll talk about why I like the 2000s over these originals. But if I am just kind of relaxing on the beach, I do like the originals over the 2000s. And we'll talk about that as well. One other glasses that they make, uh, it's actually a newer one. It's the Intimidators. I think they only have about three models right now. But if you look at them, a little on the bulkier side. And at first, I feel like Hannah wasn't sure if she would like it. I knew that I would like it because I like bigger glasses and I like the firmer fit. These, you literally put them on and it feels like you've put armor on your face. They're, they're, there's a lot of protection on there. They look really cool. The checkered is awesome. Some of you guys might be wondering, how does it look when you buy a pair of Pit Vipers? So if you're buying the originals, you'll get it basically like this and you just open it up. You'll have your glasses in there. It's super straightforward. Um, but if you guys are getting a pair of 2000s, I'm gonna open these up because I actually don't have these yet. These are the, I believe they're the blacked out ones. Yeah, the blacking out, but they are polarized, I believe. Yeah, polarized. So these should look super cool. So we're gonna do a little unboxing for you guys. Basically, you get this cool box on here. There's a lot of funny stuff on the box if you want to read it. Uh, but so you pop them open. The 2000, the cool thing is they do come with a protective case on there. So that's super cool. You got the sunglass case. The originals don't, but you save money with the originals. Uh, so opening them up, you get this cloth. So this is basically if you just fast storage, you get this cloth right here. And you also get a, a little neck band thing that I never use. We have like literally 50 of them and they just, we never use any of them. Uh, moving on to the actual, oh wow, these look super cool. So blacking out polarized, you get the glasses. I'm gonna put these, I actually have my settings. I go basically all the way extended on those and then one in, all the way extended, one in. So they're very customizable. When I say all the way, it's the basically the ear bands. So you can customize the fit. And then I like it one tilted just enough. Put those on. Oh, these are super cool. I really like these. Okay, so right off the get-go, let's go over the differences between 2000s, which are these. And these are the new Gronk version of the 2000s. These are probably my favorite pair out of all of these. I love the uh, tint in the Gronks. 
I feel like it does really well when you're, uh, so we mountain bike and we gravel ride. I feel like it does really well for that. Between the 2000s and then the originals, let's pick these. These are pretty cool. These originals right here. I don't know the exact name on these, but they are super cool. They got the pinks on there. So the difference between the 2000s and the originals, the 2000s are a little bit more on the firmer side. I don't know if that's gonna make sense, but essentially when these go onto your face, it's a very snug fit. And overall, they just feel like they have a little bit better of a uh, construction feeling to them. Uh, they just feel a little bit higher quality, but at the same time, I feel like the biggest thing to mention there is going to be the firmness of those. Uh, and yeah, when you put them on your face, you know they're on your face for a little bit. Eventually, like the feeling kind of, you get more used to them as opposed to the originals. The originals are a lot lighter feeling. So if you're the type of rider or hanger outer, or I know everyone really uses this, but like you really want like the lightest weight feeling glasses, the originals are gonna be your style for those, where they don't necessarily have the firmest fit. So say you you really wanna make sure that your, your glasses don't feel like they're rattling on your head too much. I feel like the 2000s do a good job of that, especially on the action sport side. But in terms of like the hanging out, relaxing, the originals feel really good for that. But I also, if I'm gonna go for a really long ride and I want something that kind of feels very light, I might actually opt to go with the original Originals on that. Double wide versus the non-double wides. Uh, so you, you'll get an option for the double wides. Double wide just means a little bit of a uh, bigger lens. So me personally, I guess I'll take these off really quick. I got like a, a I would say I have a significant big head, uh, especially on the forehead side. Also an ego as well, probably. But if I put these on, you guys can see they, they look pretty normal on me. And so both Hannah and I, my girlfriend, I'll put a picture of her right here. Uh, we both use double wide. So we have none of the classic fits. All, we're, we're running double rides exclusively on the originals. What we found is for the Groms, the Groms really like the, uh, the non double wides. And then also if you have like a really smaller head, uh, it might benefit you to go with the non double wides. However, for the most part, the cool thing about the double wides too is you just have more coverage there. So once again, on the action sport side or the like sun protection side, I don't know. I just huge fan of the double wides there. And yeah, overall, very impressed. So I actually am not entirely sure that we're allowed to show some of these exciters because they are going to be doing a big drop in the exciters soon. They got a couple of cool new colors. I feel like they sent over to us. Hopefully or we might get in trouble for showing some of this stuff. Uh, but basically those are really cool. They're like a cosmic. I wonder if you guys can see that, but uh, yeah, so a couple of new exciters coming at you guys. The cool thing with the exciters too is it, it's almost like a very precise fitting uh, glass. So like literally you put these on and they feel very similar feeling to Ray-Bans. I don't really like them necessarily for, uh, for mountain biking or for gravel riding just because as you guys can probably tell, it is a little bit more of a frame style on there. And I just feel like anytime I'm riding, I just like the bottom half to essentially be a little bit more free seeing. And it just kind of doesn't interfere with the trail. But yeah, overall, really stoked on some of these exciters. Moving back to the originals, because I did tell you guys there's some lenses in the originals that I like better. This is a new one from them. It's their night lens. I really hope you guys can see that. But yeah, overall, when you put these on, they're so nice for like those evening sunset rides. Special shout out to Hannah's favorite glasses. Those are the Miami Nights. Probably the classiest looking out of all of them. The cool thing with the Miami Nights too, is you'll notice this, some of the originals actually have a heavier grade construction. So the frame on this actually is unlike what I've been saying previously. You know how I've been saying that the originals are a little on the lighter fit side, but these Miami Nights have like a much more durable feeling frame, actually more durable so than the 2000s. And I think these actually weigh more than the 2000s, which yeah, so the Miami Nights, very sturdy glass. My personal favorite color and lens in the uh, originals, believe I have an extra of them. They're called the Gobies. It's these right here. Hopefully you guys can see these. 
It's like a blue color, a little pink splatter. And overall, man, I love this lens for very bright, sunny days. Uh, so you guys can tell it's definitely, I think these are polarized as well. Let me just make sure. Yeah, these are polarized. So they, they do offer the originals in the polarized. And I feel like these do so well when we go out and we're going for either a ride or to the beach in the sun. It's just 1 p.m. You know, when the sun is at peak, wants to just absolutely wreck you. I feel like the original polarized definitely come into play there. And yes, yeah, super impressed with these. So moving on to the Intimidators, like I said, I really do like all of the lenses in the Intimidators. Specifically, I'll give you guys the exact name. I'll put like what I'm talking about right here as I'm talking about them. I have these, they're the American ones. So the lens is actually called the Absolute Liberties and they're perfect for, if you're going out for a ride and like, you know, sometimes the Sun's not necessarily the brightest. You don't need that much protection, uh, but you do still need a good amount. And I feel like this is that sweet spot. And like I said, they look super cool with the American red, white, and blue. I do like a lot of the 2000s. I really do like, I believe these are either called the herbivores or the loose, oh no, these are the herbivores. So they're the zebra print. Such a freaking cool color on there. These lenses are a little on the darker side. So make sure if you're going out, like these are like your prime sun, you're really trying to repel the sun. And yeah, overall very on the, a little on the darker side, but overall love that color. And yeah, really stoked on those. For uh, a lot more of my trail rides where I'll be going like into the trees, I don't necessarily need the most sun protection and also it's changing. These right here, they're the Loose Riders. They're the collab with a company called Loose Riders, which is a mountain bike company. Hence, I feel like these are the perfect mountain bike glasses. And yeah, overall you put these on and it just enhances the look of the trail. Like certain things start to pop out. These right here, the carnivores, these are, I feel like my most stylish. If I'm going out and I really, I don't know, I just like want to look cool. I feel like you put these on and yeah, love the lenses, a little on the darker side, but at the same time, I feel like these pop the most out of all the pairs we own. One last one, I know it's so, it's tough. I could go through all of them, but this video would take forever. But these right here, if you're looking for one pair to do everything well, block sun, but not block sun too much, stand out, but not be too crazy, still look good, but at the same time, still look like pit vipers, it's these. I believe they're called the Poseidons. You got that mint chip color is what I like to call it. These probably are some of my favorites. You put them on, it's still a very good amount of sun protection. It repels sun, I could wear them to the beach. I could also wear them on the trail because they're not too dark. And then also they look really cool. They stand out a lot. And yeah, overall, really impressed with this model, the Poseidons, and yeah, super stoked on this. Well, there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review slash showing the collection of Pit Vipers that we own. Once again, you guys, you can save 15% off by using our link in the description and help support the channel. If you like this video, definitely hit that like button. Also consider subscribing to the channel, but yeah. And in all honesty, one of the reasons we love working with Pit Viper, we get a lot of questions about them, like how are they as a company and whatnot, the coolest thing about Pit Viper is everyone there is an insanely cool person and an insanely cool shredder. They love to ski, they love to ride, and they're just genuine dirtbags, whether it's on the ski side or the mountain bike side. There's so much passion at that company from the highest person to uh, their like interns and all that stuff. And yeah, overall, it's just a cool, eclectic group of people that are just doing rad stuff. And that's why I'm so stoked to be working with them. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, you guys, ride awesome. Go Pit Vipers. Yee!